everyone, welcome back. So, I don't do clothing hauls very much on my channel. It's just because, I don't know why. I just don't think about it. It's not my favorite thing. Um, let's be real. I think when you're someone who... Um, I used to get more excited about clothing when I could wear kind of whatever I wanted, but it's a little bit of a chore to find things that I feel comfortable in or that fit my size. And I think when you're... Um, you know, a little bit more plus size, it makes you feel not as happy. So that's why I go towards makeup, which is why I love makeup so much is because it always fits. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of you guys have expressed that you would like me to do clothing hauls. Now, um, this is a little bit different because it's a kind of a lot. It's, um, well, a lot as in I have a couple pairs of shoes that I got recently and some sunglasses and some clothing from Victoria's Secret. So I just thought I would put it all together and do a little bit of a haul since it was quite a lot and I really like the comfy clothes from Victoria's Secret. They have like a lot of um, really cute comfy clothes right now. So I thought I would show you guys a few things that I got. And this is like more of a casual video considering I literally, like I kind of probably look like a sheepdog. Like I let my hair air dry. I barely have any makeup on. But you know what? I just was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to film it. So here we go. If you're interested in seeing some of the things that I've gotten, then let's just go ahead. I'm going to start off with teaks. Now, I bought a pair of teaks because I had heard so many things about them. I typically wear a size 8 and they don't carry half sizes. They're like flat shoes and the fun thing about them is that they fold up. Now I know that they, these are rather expensive so I wanted to get a color that I thought was very neutral that I would wear with a lot of things so I got the color taupe. I wore these one time and so I do have things to say about them. Since they do cost a lot of money, I feel like a size eight is rather tight. So it says if you are if you wear an eight and a half size down to an eight, I say no, no, size up to a nine. They were rather tight on my toes, and since it comes folded up, it's almost like it takes a lot of pressure for your foot to kind of push it flat, and then that just stretches on the toes, and I don't know, it just felt kind of tight. So I always wear it an eight, maybe an eight and a half, and that's why I thought an eight would work, but I think you should size up rather than size down, and I think they would be fine and comfortable, but these fit, uh, they kind of make my toes hurt. I'm not going to lie, they kind of make my toes hurt. So I don't know if it's just I didn't give them a chance. I need to like stretch them out a little bit and wear them in a little bit more. But I did get the cut and I love I love the fact that they have like the teal on the bottom. I think that's super cute. But for shoes that are kind of expensive, I wish that I would have listened to my own self and gotten a size 9. I'm not really great at returns, so I'm just going to kind of wear them more, stretch them out a little bit more. And if not, um, someone who's a size 8 in my life is going to find themselves with a really cute pair of shoes shoes. So I do like these, but if you're thinking of getting them, size up instead of down. Okay, the next pair of shoes that I got are from Michael Kors, and these are inspired by a girl that I, her name is Chanel, and I just love her. She, I watch her on Snapchat. She has a YouTube channel as well, and I think you guys would love her. I hope she does. I hope she continues to make videos because I love her style. I love everything about her. She's hilarious. Anyway, she had a pair of shoes very similar. Not the same thing. I'm not quite sure. I think these are called... I had to get the different ones because the other ones were completely sold out. But what I liked about these is they kind of have like the quilting and the logo. And I just liked them because they're like the high tops. Um, my husband and my friend Dana call them my Kanye West shoes, which... I don't, I hate Kanye West, I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. So I was like, Meh, don't even say that to me. But I, I really do like these shoes on. When I first put them on, they were like, squeak, a squeak, a squeak, a squeak. I, I mean, they take a little bit of wearing in because they kind of have a little bit of squeaking happening. But I really do like them and they're super comfortable. I just like these with like jeans and basic t-shirts. I always buy a ton like of the Free People t-shirts. I just love the quality of them. I love the way that they hang them. They're nice and casual. You can kind of tuck them into your jeans if you don't have a fupa or anything you're trying to worry about. You can kind of tuck them in the front to the jeans. If you don't know what a fupa is, Google it. But if you don't have that, then you can 
tuck the fronts of them in and they like really slouch really nice on your body and you know they look just really cute with uh, these kind of shoes. I actually do have a fupa, so a little tiny one that I need to kind of be concerned about, so I'm not all about tucking it into the front. Well, I mean, I kind of can if I'm using control top jeans, you know, you got to kind of control the situation. I'll just tell you, fupa stands for fat upper pelvic area, you know, like the fanny pack. So if you can get the jeans from American Eagle, they kind of suck everything in. They're a little bit more of high top jeans, but they kind of just give your you a little bit of slender and control and they still don't look like mom jeans, then you can control the fupa. So do that. Before we move on to clothing, I'm going to talk about two pairs of sunglasses. I love the key sunglasses. Did I call them Quay in the beginning? Maybe I did. They're spelled Q-U-A-Y, but that's pronounced key. And I'm like one of those people that's just like, why? Why can we not just, I know they're an Australian. And so, um, but you know, everyone's calling them Quay because that's how it looks, but they're actually pronounced key and I still will mix it up sometimes and by accidentally call them Quay. Okay, so I got two styles. I'm going to have to write down the styles. I know one of them's called Odin and I think this is called something Little Things. Um, these reminded me a lot of the uh, My Girl style. They have like the silver all around them and the My Girl has just silver on top and the My Girl doesn't have the silver on the side. So this one has silver on the sides. I really like these. Super cute and I like how they go boom. So these are cute. I love the Key sunglasses because they run around $50. They're really nice quality sunglasses and I just think that they're different and fun. I've gotten so many compliments on my sunglasses no matter where I am. Sunglasses to me used to be like, um, I'll take a 99 cent pair, thank you so much, because I lose them. But now I've tried to keep up with my sunglasses, keep them all nice and in their little cases. So, you know, when you purchase a pair, you get a case with it. So that's always nice. I just keep them in my purse and I try and keep up way better now that I have been spending like $50 on a pair of sunglasses. To me, that's a lot. So I like to keep up with them. Oh, maybe it does have the pair, the name of it in the inside. Hold please. Yes, this is called Every Little Thing. And then these next ones are called Odin. And these, let's see, the style O-D-I-N. I really like these because they have this gold right here and then gold on the nose piece. Let me just try them on for you. Boom, boom. I love these. So really cute, nice and slick. I like to pair, pair <laughs> I like to pair black and gold together a lot, so I figured these would be a nice pair of sunglasses to have. So they have some really cute styles. On Sometimes I get the key sunglasses from keyaustralia.com, I believe, is the website, or I get them from Nasty Gal has a lot, and I almost just called it Nasty Girl. <laughs> Nasty Gal has a lot, and um, Pack Sun has some. So if you would like to, does anyone remember when Pack Sun was actually Pacific Sun? Like it was called Pacific Sun and then they eventually just changed it to Pack Sun. I mean that might show how old I am, but like in our mall where I grew up, it was a place called Pacific Sun. And now they're all fancy and stuff and they're like, no, we're gonna appeal to all the younger audiences, which they should, and we're gonna change it to Pack Sun because that sounds cooler. But I was back when they were called Pacific Sun, and I remember those days. So don't go trying to change on me, Pac Sun. I knew who you were. Next up for Victoria's Secret. All the clothing I'm about to show you is in size large. It fits me. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. But I'd probably be an extra large if I could choose. Like, But I feel like some of this stuff runs a little bit bigger, but it is in larges. <sighs> Shoot, I have a bunch of sweatshirts that I got that just say pink across them in various colors. I got a light pink one, an aqua one, a blue one, but those are all in the wash because they're so comfortable and if you get the size large of them, they are like seriously big and really, really cozy and thin. So I really like those sweatshirts, but they're in the wash and I, I, can't, I can't even want to like go and fetch them for you even though I should because they're super cute. Let's talk about what I did get. So like I said, everything is in the size large because that's the biggest size that they carry. Um, 
and like I said I am an extra large girl and I still find that the large fits so if that helps you guys um, I think that you you know if you are an extra large possible you might fit into the larges in Victoria's Secret this is a lot from the pink line from the pink line at Victoria's Secret okay so first I got these olive green pants and they do have this like I'm, I'm very confused by this. I'm like, how does this how does this play into the olive green? Because it's like black and olive green, which I wish they just would have left a black and olive green like all the way down. It left it black, but they didn't. So it's like jogging pants. It has pink right there, and then it goes down, and then this is like what the ankle looks like. I really, really like these. It's just like a cute little jogging suit. Also has pockets, and I got the hoodie that I talked about in a video. Um, I was wearing it. See, this is like the hood of it. I'm like, I'm sorry, this just doesn't go. It's like olive green is like, ooh, kind of olive green that's like, boom, we're bright and neon. I don't like it. I just don't. I think it should have been black in the hood. That would have been my perfect thing. So, and then it just says pink in like white and black. So, I love it. It's just a really cute little hoodie. And then it goes perfectly with the pants. So, a nice little jogging track suit outfit. They always have coupons and free shipping and 20% off and you can layer coupons. They have up to three different types of coupons that you can stack on the Victoria's Secret so website. If you're going, make sure you scroll all the way down on whatever page you're on and it will list you the coupons that are active at the time. You can get really great deals because you can, like I said, layer your coupons and I ended up getting some of this stuff like $50 off an order. One time they had like, you know, if you're gonna spend $100, you're gonna get $50 off so it was like half of everything. So yes, make sure you definitely check for those coupons and shop through Ebates because they're always on Ebates. They also had a major legging sale so I picked up a pair of leggings. I really like these because they have this like you know, almost like boy type underwear band on the top. And they're just um, plain like gray, like a heather gray. Not a heather gray, like a charcoal gray, but they have like, you know, that. It's not just like solid gray, you can see. And then it has that at the bottom. I really like these. I'm not going to lie. The large is like, let's paint these pants on you, Laura Lynn. And maybe they're probably too tight, but it's like I hike them up and I make it happen. They're a little tight though. Okay, next up are the t-shirts. These are larges and they feel and run very large. These are the new, I think they're called like crew, I wonder if it even says it on here, no. They're called crew cut. I'm gonna try and link everything I possibly can down below. But these are called like the crew, new crew t-shirts. Um, this one is in gray and it just has like a little design, like a little pocket. And then I loved the sleeves. They kind of go down a little bit longer than regular short sleeves. And then they have these two, you know, white stripes. These are super duper comfortable and I really, really like them. Really cute, like lounge around t-shirts, perfect for just around the house or even if you want to wear them with jeans, they're really cute. I got them in two colors, that gray color and then this is like a purpley plum color. So, I mean, same thing, really cute. Like I said, the large is pretty large, so I would consider if you wear an extra large, you would find that the large would work for you. Okay, then I got one of these t-shirts, the kind of the same thing, it's a long sleeve shirt, but it's like a, that crew material with the pocket, it just says pink, pink, pink. And again, the large feels very, very large, fits nice, nicely, and I really like the fabric. It's almost like a stretchy cotton, but it's like thicker, but it's like stretchy cotton. They're super soft and comfortable. Okay, I got another type of a jumpsuit, but this is a way thinner material. The other one was like a sweatpant material, and this is more of like a t-shirt material um, with a hoodie, but it's like a t-shirt material hoodie. Let me, let me just quickly zip this puppy up. I got the gray and black one. Just says pink with the stripe, and like I said, it's a hoodie. And then these pants go with it. Super cute with a little dog, and then it just says pink on the side like this. And let me show you the pants, the bottoms really quick. They're like the, this kind of bottom, almost like a shirt sleeve, but on the bottom for your ankle. Again, this is all in large. These also have pockets, and this fits really nicely, even though it's a large. 
Probably would need an extra large in the pants, you know, because I got a badonka And then the last thing is the same type of hoodie, but I got it in olive green, the one that says pink. I just really, really love it. Super comfortable. I'm like all about just having some really cute jumpsuit, sweatsuit things to lounge around, do errands on Saturdays. I like to have like those matchy matchy little jumpsuits. I know it's coming into spring, but there are some really cute, comfy, and cozy clothes on Victoria's Secret right now. So I just thought I would share with you what I had. And I will try and leave links to all of these things down below the shoes and the glasses, everything. If you're interested in any of it, it will be the direct links right there if they have the colors still. And since I forgot those sweatshirts, I'm going to try and link those sweatshirts because those are like a prize pony. I think out of anything, I wish I could show you. I think I wore one of them, like an aqua colored one in a video and everyone was like, oh my gosh, I love your aqua sweatshirt. It's like a video a, a, like a few weeks ago. I think it was actually Friday Favorites that I was just like, uh, I'm not changing on my sweatshirt right now. So I'm gonna link those down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing some of the things that I bought. I will try and do more fashion hauls because I know that a lot of people do like to hear um, just like even what size I wear or because I'm not a tiny person and I know a lot of people are my size or average size. I know sometimes it's helpful to know where someone shops because I do get a lot of questions of where do you shop? Like what kind of places do you buy from? So I'll try and do more videos like this just so um, that you guys can hear because I'm always about telling you my size, telling you what size I would fit into so that you can kind of gauge it based off of um, maybe if you're wearing the same size or if you've tried out some of the clothing and you want to shop online because I do a lot of shopping online. I like to go through Ebates and get some cash back. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.